Alrighty friends, today I want to talk to you about Cobb. Last month I had the opportunity to learn how to build with Cobb. I am going to be taking a nine day Cobb building class. I'll be camping and building with Cobb. And I have all my tent and all my stuff packed up in my backpack. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. This workshop was put together by Ali and Chloe Maggio, who used to work at the Cobb Cottage organization here in Oregon. After building a foundation with gravel and repurposed cement blocks from an old construction site, we took soil, sand, straw, and water, mashed it up with our feet, and began to build the Cobb walls. It was honestly a very straightforward process, which was very surprising to me because so much of the building in this country make it feel like building a house is super inaccessible and super difficult. I was surprised to learn how intuitive it was to just make a building material and then plop it on a wall and add windows and make sure that it was vertically plumb and nine days later we had a whole building. It's the end of day two and I feel like I'm having a peak experience because it's been so freaking fun. Cobb feels so approachable and beautiful and like such a wonderful way for people to connect in a community. It's just like amazing. It's like you can dance as you mix the cob together and I don't know I feel like I'm remembering this deep part of me that like longed for community so much for so long and you know since yesterday we started building up the walls and today we put in the first straw bales and like it's so inexpensive and accessible like everybody has dirt you know I think that really the land is the biggest obstacle but I'm like also like so energized and inspired and like I could do whatever I want I could build my own house and and I can make it really freaking beautiful and I could like put in so many altars if I wanted to it's just incredible to be able to be handed a tool or really like have a tool pointed at you and told build a house now and like feel actually empowered to do it like I could totally I can do it and that is so freaking dope <laughs> it's so cool it's safe to say that after only a day I completely fell in love with the process and as the walls grew so did my sense of belonging everybody who was there was able to totally plug in and like feel essential to the process of building. I feel like when people are given the tools to make something, they end up making something incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna show you what we created so far. Cobb workshop really reminded me that community is my jam. <laughs> I think with the past years in the pandemic, I've really learned to identify as an introvert and I just kind of forgot about what makes community so great. And I like being in that environment again and like getting messy and muddy and like laughing so hard with the people there just like reminded me of what makes community so beautiful and 
made me feel inspired to feel a sense of community with people. So I'm completely sold on cob building myself, but I know that some people say it's super labor intensive. And I gotta say that that is true. I was very tired at the end of every day building, and I did have a couple injuries on all my fingers <laughs> and a bunch of bruises from carrying the heavy buckets. And But I still found it to be incredibly worth it. Yes, Cobb is labor intensive, but to me it feels like labor worth doing. When the time comes and I'm ready to have a home, to me it feels way smarter for me to spend my time working to build something incredibly creative and beautiful with wonderful, hilarious people than it does for me to get saddled with a mortgage and do the labor of a job. Seems like to me, I would wanna go for Cobb. And also for the physical activity, exercise is good for me. <laughs> and I would rather build something tangible than run on a treadmill for a long time going nowhere. <laughs> Just based on my life, it feels like an easy choice for me, but I totally respect that it doesn't work for everybody. Now that my workshop is over, I plan on continuing to build the relationships with people that I met through Cobb and continue to learn everything I possibly can <laughs> about Cobb building so that I'm ready when the time comes for me to build my own home. If you have any questions about Cobb, please feel free to leave comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I don't know the answer, I know people who probably know the answers. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.